Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 66 of Greedfall. Defeat the champion. Wait, let us check what we have. We have the potions ready. Uh, techniques, we have 154 bullets. Spells, we can stasis and we can storm. Okay. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Uh, put off. I am here for another reason. Oh, what a pity. The crowd is eager for a fight. So, what can I do for you then? I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. Let me check what is the requirement. Defeat the champion. It doesn't say how many minutes, right? Ready to excite the crowd. I have okay. come to fight your champion. <laughs> He's been awaiting the fight with anticipation. And the crowd as well. I should oh. remind you that this combat is a duel. Your friends must remain in the stands. And now, may the better fighter win. What a brilliant spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. It wasn't easy. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelia seems to do you wonders. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game, and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will. Okay, so... Uh, let's go check out... Whoa, I knew it. First, uh, then we have... Uh, I also we have stasis on it's a one-on-one -on -one. he has no choice or no no chance Whew. the animal fight was much harder and uh, they give good results i think i'll come back and see if we can farm them i don't know if they level with us they must because the i think they must because we we got decent experience for them they gave us at least half a bar of the or half the experience we needed to go to the next level uh huh okay uh there is again a shortcut here right uh from this side to that side it's on the other side right here and then i think we can connect no this is back to our that's to our lodgings yes no it is it is over here i think it's over here maybe no uh it was earlier that one okay mm. <sighs> I'm sorry about my uh, bad directions uh, over here make a right and yes see this is the great square 
this thing says spawn let's get the other one the other one across also no this is not the cathedral square this is the port wow what a dummy <laughs> okay what a dummy uh What a dummy. Okay, this one should... Mm, it's not leading us out. Okay, this one should lead us back to the square. No. It leads us back. That's fine. Let's just cut across. Yes, cut across here. Yeah, I'm still thinking back to where we let Petrus talk for us for 75% charisma check. Us against us talking directly to him and trying to convince him. Ah, man. Uh, even our own people are suspicious of us. Lady de Sade. And you, Petrus. What can I do for you? We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your money lender. You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the Congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, uh, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of Cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what's she talking about? Cornelia. You don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened, it's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's her. No, please. Since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Your real mother. My... my mother? Petrus, is it true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. I knew your mother. I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You know that my uncle lied to me and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation. It's better out in the open. 
I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. The prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and have kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. Dangerous bet. Okay, that was interesting. Twist and turn. Uh, demoniacal truth. Uh, question. A cure for Malikor. Wow. Question Durdre, the village chief. Uh, do we have any side quests? Uh, progress in the main quest. Oh, oh, we have to progress in the main quest. Okay, let's do this. Have a nice day, madam. Whoa, what are these guys? They are in the way. So what are they doing here? Praying together with the mother cardinal? Uh, okay. Um, so we all the time we are, we have been a pawn. Uh, that is very, very disturbing. Whoop. No, 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 no. We are going out here. And we are headed towards our residence. And then we will head towards wherever that place is. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Back here. Okay. Village of Veldag. And then we will buy again from the halfway merchant. Whatever he has. Claymore of the Lieutenant. Not that good. Ornate uh, pepper box. Not that good. Engraved hunting rifle. No, not that good. Uh, how about uh, Inquisitions 20? That's what we have. Yeah. Nothing better. Uh, Red Sun Captain's Doublet. Oh, Endurance of 2? Uh, we need a Sailor one. Brigandine of the Red Sun. No. Uh, no. Um, Captain Stick Gloves. Okay, let's just buy the crude iron. Hoof Fungus. Hawthorn. Okay. Wow, it is it feels so lonely now. It's like there's nobody we can actually trust. Except Constantine and and, and he's about to croak. Bird dear to mad on all menawi. Oi am Derdra, daughter of Enora. Daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. 
It's probably because you are an Onol Menau that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Speak about the uh, Mega Crassy. No? Huh? Mage Ocracy. Speak, uh, ask her about her beliefs. Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything. And that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us. And that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, oh, you have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoikse. Anything more? Okay, question the village uh, inhabitants. Speak about the major. Concerning this story about a sect. Enough, enough questions. I have nothing more to say. Oh, man. What is this? Uh, question the village inhabitants. Find the scholar's expedition. Okay. Uh, did we steal anything here? Does she have anything to steal? I don't see anything. Okay. Uh, who can we talk to? Wow, that's a lot of people to interview. They all have like something on... What is over here that we need to investigate? I guess only those guys with the... Uh, we can interact. Can't you leave us alone, Monisanaik? Can't you leave us alone, Monisanaik? Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Wow, they are. Leave me be. Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace. <laughs> Okay, so who else are we supposed to talk to? You have a strange stare, Renaikse. Leave me alone. Wow. Even the na the, the locals, the islanders Renaikse don't like. <laughs> So who else are we supposed to talk with? Birtir to Madrenaikse. Good day. Do you want something? Ask her about the village. Could you answer a few questions. Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it is the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gacane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. Ask about their beliefs. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? What a strange question. I don't believe. I know. Nature is alive. A forest is like a village. Every river, every rock, every beast, the land itself, all live, all speak to us. In exchange for these gifts, we honor her, give her our dead. This is the way of things. 
we do everything in our power to protect her. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I am not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Ask her about the, the rituals. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donega. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light. She did not want to play. Is that it? Uh Hold on, who else can we talk? Okay. We are supposed to examine stuff here. The Dob, the Black Lands. We are examining, we are examining maybe these things. Uh huh. So we've talked to, uh, no, no, we've talked to that guy. We've talked to that guy also. You have a strange stare, and I say, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, oh, there's another one outside. Okay. And we talked to this guy also, this person. This one person we need to talk out here talk with further down the road that is our camp anything new no the investigation has gone stale the villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now perhaps you should talk to them they may speak to you they're not speaking to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we are investigating. Okay. So we talked with her, right? Villager's home. How about if we enter a villager's home? Like... No, she doesn't... She can't even... Uh... Go away, Ranoikse. You are not welcome in my home. What? Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want? Ask about their beliefs, about their rituals. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you, you should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. Uh. This question will seem strange to you. But do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. Uh... You're different from the others. What is your role in this village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. 
You others. When we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our Onol beliefs Manawi. are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead. In the rain that quenches us and drowns us. In the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong. Said that nature was just nature and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. Yeah. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths. With wild beasts. I must wow. Now. Thank you for your help. So I guess we go talk to the uh, to the missionary now. Yeah. And then after we talk to her, maybe we can cut the episode. Let's just get this thing done. Something's going on here. Very strange. Nothing new. No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but they don't seem all that keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know a little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet there is something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. I wonder if that eccentric young lady could help us. She seems to like you. Or, of course, we could create a diversion by breaking some of these pots. I could pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to be fast, and it will only work once. Okay, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.